Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hey, nice to see you. How was your vacation? It was great. Okay, how many days did you rest? Only two. And Friday, and, Friday two and, and Saturday? Uh, Thursday and Friday. Hello. Thursday and Friday. Okay. Hello, Jorge. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Excellent. Okay. Ready mm -hmm. to learn more, right? Of course. Okay, and the rest, where are they? Are you complete? Everybody is okay, right? ¿Qué les pasó a los demás? What happened? Si están completos, ¿verdad? Todos regresaron. Everybody came back from vacations, right? Yes. Yes, okay, that's good, that is good. All right, so nice to see you. Um, yo sé que no han tenido tiempo de ver nada, o sí. Have you? Have you studied? Have you checked the videos? I didn't check. No, you didn't have enough time, right? Okay, and where did you go, guys? Did you visit the beach or any nice place that you met? Algo que conocieron? Something new? Yeah, I visited the. ¿Cómo se llama? Okay. El Calvario Church. Ah, el Calvario. Me too. I went to the Calvario Church. Okay. Were you in the parade? Fue a la, a la procesión. Yes. Okay. On Friday. On Friday. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice, yes. nice, nice, nice. Only that? Solo eso. ¿Qué más? Where, where else did you go? ¿Qué más? ¿A dónde más fueron? The others? Uh -huh, another place? It was in Tunquito, too. Oh, you went, you went to the beach, to El Tunco. Yes. Uh -huh. I was surfing. <laughs> uh, really? Do you surf? <laughs> no, no. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding. Okay. Jorge, what did you do on vacation? La, to... Las ladies las vamos a dejar de último. Ahorita le vamos a preguntar a Jorge, okay, what did okay. you do on vacations? I went, I went to my family in Aguachapán and, and Los Planes because it pupusas with my family only that and sleep 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 <laughs> okay so you you can say i slept right i slept a lot a lot all right nice so nothing new no ahí no hubo nada nuevo no teacher you didn't have enough time right you needed to rest ivania what happened to you? What did you do on the on these vacations? I um, I first uh, Hola. Hello. We can hear Hi. you now. Hello. I rested rest mm -hmm. in my house. Okay. And I went to the beach really? with my family and only, only, only that. that. Which yes. beach did you go? Um, 
in La Paz. La Paz, okay. And the name of the beach is? Uh, I don't know, Las Hojas, maybe. <laughs> La Paz, Las, Las Hojas. Hojas. Las Hojas, okay. Mm -hmm. I I heard about it, but I don't know. I don't know that, that beach. All right. Good, but you're ready to learn. Now, Rita, what about you? Tell me. Where did you go? In my case, I was at home. I had a floor. You had it's, a flu? It's the, it's the same uh, an accident. Fall. I had a fall. You, oh, you, you fell. Yes, I damaged my um, balloon. The back? The back. You're back. Oh my God. Yes. You need to be careful. But how do you feel now? Uh, best. You, you best. feel better? Better. Better. So you didn't yeah. go out because you had an in accident? In the last, uh, last week, I was in, um, out the the office, worked in the home office. Okay. You, mm -hmm. were, you were working from home. I visited two doctors. Okay. Mm -hmm. You visited two doctors? Two doctors. I visited two a doctor. I visited a doctor. I visit okay, I visited a doctor. I visited a doctor. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I hope that you feel much better. Okay. That you can recover very soon. All right. Okay. And Thank you. Doña Lupita, where were you last week? La semana pasada se, me, se nos escondió Lupita. What happened to you? Estaba enferma, teacher. In English, vamos a decir en inglés, así como me dijo Rita, ajá. She was sick. She was sick. She I was, was sick. sick. I was sick. Okay. But uh, you didn't rest. Aparte de eso, que estuvo enferma, mm, did you in, go somewhere else? Visitó algo? In vacation, I went to visit my family. Yesterday to have lunch with my cousin. Oh, so you had lunch with your cousin yesterday, okay? Yesterday, only teacher. That's it, okay. Well, you know, my vacation was kind of nice. I spent many days with my daughter. We visited like an aquatic park. We, we were um, having fun on a pool. I actually was selling, estuve vendiendo. I took advantage of the vacations. And guess what? Ayer, last, uh, yesterday, I woke up very late because since I was not working, I was sleeping. Estaba durmiendo todos, todos estos días until very late. And, and what happened? Suddenly I woke up and I say, oh my God, I have to teach today. Y era domingo, yo, yo pensaba que tenía que dar clases ayer, así que tuve un, un día más en el que, hey, no, vea, todavía tengo vacación. So, it was, it was fun, but at the same time, it was like, oh my God, I have my classes, no, no estoy lista y tengo mi clase. Eh, sí que I lost, um, uh, how can I say this? Perdí un poquito lo, eh. Los días, ¿verdad? I, I got lost a little bit. Okay. What about Vanessa? What did you do on vacations? Tell us. Um, Thursday, I went to Usultan. Okay. Usultan, so, uh -huh. Yeah, with on, my mom. On Thursday. On, on Thursday. All right. Went to Sultan with my mom and my boyfriend. And Friday and Saturday, I went to the beach with the family's boyfriend. Okay. Which beach did you visit? Um, Veranera Resort. 
Okay, and what is that? Is it that in La Paz el or La Libertad? Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Las veraneras. All right, so next time, guys, I know where to go. If you recommend those places, it will be nice to visit them. Okay, hello, Alberto, where are you? Are you there? Hi, hi teacher. Um, I am good, and you? I'm very well. I'm very well. And where did you go? Tell me. I went to Chalatenango. Uh -huh. I visited my family. Okay. So, um, had a trip with my friends. Okay. Yes. But did you visit El Pital or which place in in no, in, Ch in Ch I visited uh, La Laguna, the 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 sound. Uh, his name is La Laguna, the the municipio. municipio? The municipality. Municipality is La Laguna. In Chalatenango. Chalate. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you from Chalate? Yes, I am from Chalatenango, but I I was born in San Salvador, but uh, I am studied studied in Chalatenango. You are from six third uh, is sixty. Uh, you can say I was uh -huh. studying, estuve estudiando, o puede decir nada más, I studied in Chalatenango for mm -hmm. some years. Yes, okay, I studied in Chalatenango. In... ¿Cómo me dijo? In from. Uh, six years, uh, for six years, por seis años. For six years, okay, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And what is going on with the cameras? In the moment, I use the cell phone because I okay. don't connect it, but... I am... <laughs> okay, in a moment. And, mm -hmm. my, and Samuel, hello? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. Fine. Okay, what did you Fine. do on vacations? Um, Miren chicos, ahorita tenemos que ver otra vez los pasados. Todo lo que le estoy preguntando es para hablar de los verbos, ¿verdad? En pasado. Okay. I visited, I was, I went, I ate, I didn't do anything. What else? Uh, what did you do, Samuel, in your case? I went to visit my grandmother in the city of Ataco. Ataco. It's a yes. nice place. It's very, very um, cool. The weather is um, really nice. The, the from Wednesday night uh, to Sunday? From Wednesday to Sunday. So you spend yes. the whole weekend and the whole Holy Week in Taco. Five days. Uh, repeat. Desde el miércoles dice que estuvo ahí, ya. Yeah. Where are you from? Yes. Wednesday to Saturday, uh, Sunday. Sí, desde, desde el miércoles a los dos domingos. From, okay, so I was in Ataco from Thursday to Sunday. Okay. That is how you can say. All right, and what ha what's going on with the cameras, Samuel? Um, Ajá. Quiero verlo si andan bien así sunburn. Andan más rosaditos. No. No, no much. No, don't, don't not visit other place. You didn't visit. Okay, I didn't visit. Remember, guys, in negative, we need to say did not. Go did not visit. Siempre que hablamos en negativo, decimos did it. Okay, and Janira. Tell us about your vacations. How was how was your vacation? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Um, I was sick. 
Oh was my at God. the home resting. You didn't do much? You didn't go out? No? No. Not at all. Para uh, nada, mire. Para mm, nada. No, at no, all. Okay. No, I resting. Oh, okay. I, I rested resting. or I was resting. Así I was ver. I was resting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, Janira. But you feel better? Um do you feel yes, better? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí están, aunque mm -hmm. sea a la fuerza, ¿verdad? Yo sé que están un poco enfermitos, pero ya están trabajando. Así que qué responsable. You're very responsible, guys. And Lorena, how are you today? Usted también se nos perdió toda la semana pasada. What happened? I don't hear you. Remove the mute. Quítale el mute para escucharle. <laughs> el técnico. Help. Help, help, help. Gracias. <laughs> Hello, teacher. All right. How are you, Lorena? Tell me Hi. what happened to you last week. What did you do this week? Um, solo fue una clase, creo. Ah. Uh, <risa> que no estuvo. Ajá, es correcto. Ya, yo siento que le queda un montón de tiempo. Ok, so, uh, what, what happened to you in that class? ¿Qué estuvo? Oh, you were working, I guess, right? Estaba ocupada haciendo algo in the office. Yes. Ok, and what did you do on vacations? Did you visit any place? Uh, no. In the house. I was in my house. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I was in my house. Only in your house. Nothing else? No. Come on, guys. No, me, no les creo que no salieron a vagar. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Um, Let's start the class, guys, because today we will cover the unreal conditions, okay? Do you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you help me read the instructions? What is going to happen today in the exercise five? Mm -hmm. Instructions, what is the objective, guys, in general? Just in this one. class, yes, you will listen to a conversation where in real conditional sentence with if clause are used in, I don't see, <laughs> in context. Mm -hmm. I use in a, in context. Okay. A real conditional sentence says with if, con el if, close, uh, if clauses are used in context. Okay. ¿Cuál es entonces la unreal condition word? La palabra mágica para hablar de las, de esa condición irreal. What do you think it is? If. 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 Very good. Okay. Since you didn't have time, yo sé que no tienen todo el tiempo, le voy a poner el video. It's very, very short. What would you do, guys? Esa es una pregunta. What would you do if you found, si ustedes encontraran, if you found 750,000 dollars? Let's see. What would you do, guys? Would you return it? Would you return the money to someone? What would you do? Or you will keep it? No. I don't teacher. <laughs> hola, hola, hello. I'm sorry. Este, no, no sabía cómo expresar qué haría. 
Ah, ahí diríamos entonces, ya van a ver, would. What would you do? Entonces yo digo, oh, I would. Haría tal cosa. For example, I would keep the money. Me quedará con el dinero. Yo lo necesito. <laughs> I need it. Maybe. Uh, but if you knew, si supieras, if you knew who is the person, uh, or who is the owner of that money. ¿Quién es el dinero? Would you return it? Si lo, re lo podría regresar, guys. Imagínense. $750,000. That's a lot. Ok, veamos el video para que tengan una idea de cómo responder, entonces. Do you hear? Yes? No. No? No. No. Ay, se me había perdido Glenda. How are you, Glenda? What did you do on vacations? Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you visit somewhere? Uh, some Somewhere? Or what did you do? What did you do on your vacations, Glenda? Oh, it's already me. Ah, uh, I am stay mal. Stay at home. I am. Oh, I stayed at home. I stayed at home. Ah, okay. You didn't visit any place? No. You've got a point there. Okay. Well, guys, yo pensé que me You've iban a contar a un montón Listen de cosas donde habían visitado. But it's okay. What que would lo Phil bueno do que ya he... descansaron, ¿verdad? It's good you rested. Uh, let me see. What would you do? Now, can you hear? What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part... Uh -huh. Do you hear yes or no? Yes, yes okay. okay. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, guys, for example, um, let, let's see the, the structure for the unreal conditions. ¿En qué forma vamos a poner un verbo? ¿Se fijaron? <clears throat> si encontrara, miren, if I found, what is the form of the verb? Past. In past, ok. Sería entonces el if más el pasado del verbo. ¿Qué sería la, la condición? Ok, si pasara eso, si eso se cumple o no se cumple, ¿qué pasaría? ¿Qué forma vieron que respondía? Which way, which form? Veamos aquí. He returned. Hey, this happened to me. I remember once when I was younger, I found a lot of money. I don't remember how much was it, but there were like more than $200. And I found the, the wallet. And I knew, pero yo supe, I knew that um, this guy dropped the wallet. El, el se le cayó, so I saw the owner. So I just 
told him, hey, look, hey, mister, you know, you just dropped your, your wallet. And he had a lot of money. And he just said, oh, thank you, thank you. And I saw that the, the wallet was with a lot of money. Y yo así me quedé como que, ni un dólar me regaló este señor, right? He was super, super stingy, okay? What would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes, guys? Vaya, miren cómo se responde. I wouldn't, podría decir, yo no la, retor no, la retornaría. ¿Cómo lo dice la chica acá? Miren. I wouldn't return it. What would you do? Pregunto. I would, aquí tenemos ya la contracción. I'd, the I would, yep. ¿Cómo va la forma del verbo? How is the form of the verb? I would. The verb is in present. Is in present. So, todo lo que estábamos viendo de los modals, aquí también lo estamos poniendo en práctica, right? I would not return it. Simple for us, the simple present. O la forma base, right? I could, miren cuál es el otro. ¿Cuáles dos podemos ver aquí entonces que ocupamos? ¿Podríamos ocupar good o podríamos ocupar? Could. Could. ¿Y en el caso que ya pasó? No lo hubiera retornado. ¿Cómo, cómo lo diríamos? ¿Cómo lo diríamos, guys? No lo tuve que haber retornado. Acordémonos de un modal que podemos usar cuando usted dice... Mm, el regret, vea, que se arrepiente de, de haber hecho lo, lo que hizo y pudo haber hecho algo diferente. I would not have returned en pasado. Okay. I wouldn't have returned. ¿Qué estamos haciendo aquí, guys? Un present perfect. Usamos un present perfect con el would para hablar en el pasado. Pero en simple present es una situación irreal. Veamos. Miren, could go to jail, dice aquí. ¿Cuáles son los dos models que vamos a ocupar con los in, um, ir, unreal, unreal situations? ¿Puedo ocupar should? Maybe. ¿Puedo ocupar would o puedo ocupar? Oh. Could. Ajá. Correct. Good. Let me just... Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay. Pregúnteme, ¿qué harías si sí, vamos a comenzar con unas preguntitas? What would you do if you were fired? Todos se quedarían como fired. If you were fired, what would you do, guys? Si se fijan, la pregunta la puedo hacer de dos formas. 
what would you do at the beginning or after? If you were fired, what would you do? What would you do if you were fired? That is my question. Who wants to answer? Do you understand the question, guys? You're not. How do you say, how do you okay. say it? Okay. Be fired is. Okay. Vamos a ver quién sabe qué es be fired. Si nos despidieran. Ah, very good. Entonces es ser despedido. What would you do if you were fired? How do you emprender? Um, um, and let me see, how can we say? I would um, invest is más como invertir. Emprender, let me find the word. Teacher, yes? be fire no significa también hacer fuego. Ah, uh, puede ser entonces get fire. Así, get fire. Ambos son igual de este, estar despedidos. Thank you, uh -huh. teacher. My pleasure. I'll tell you, emprender. I would say I would run my own business. I would run my own business. Crearía mi negocio, pero la palabra emprender se, ya se la busco, because I don't remember. No me recuerdo la palabra. Okay, and the rest? ¿Qué más sería? Yeah, start a business, start a farm. Start, puede ser también, start. I will start a business. Es eh, comenzar. Mm, no hay una palabra exactamente para el emprender. Okay. Set out. Tengo también un set out. Como empezar. Así, set out. On a business. I would set out on a business. I would start a business. I would... Undertake también está acá. Um, undertake um, como un proyecto también. Normally it's run a business, start a business, set up a business. Esos son los, los, los nombres o expresiones más comunes para emprender. Para hablar de, de, de emprender. Uh, but you can say start. Más fácil. I would start a business. Undertake a business. I would um, take it out a business. Get on a business. Start a business. Run a business. Etc. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else would you do? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice crear? 
la pala palabra. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo? Create. Create. Create, create my online store. Ah, ok. Vamos a hacerlo así. If, con el if, ok. Vamos, one more time. If. If. if ajá. If create. If I got fired, si me despidieran. Oh, y, oh, ok, ok. <laughs> he would do a business with his body. Malilla de Ivania, siempre Ivania. All right. I understand that, Ivania. He, he, he would sell his body. Vendería su cuerpo. Edenilson, no yo. Edenilson. Okay. Edenilson would, would sell his body. Come on. Okay. So, Glenda, sería entonces, if I were fired, if I got fired, I would... If I if I were fire. Uh -huh. Or oh, if create, I got mm -hmm. I create, create online store. My online store. Hey, very good. Do you uh, do you have a store already, Glenda? Do you have a a, a store? Como digo, um I, I like uh, store a pet uh, articles de, de, de mascotas. Ah, okay. Pets. Pet shop. Articles. Oh, a pet shop. A pet shop. Yes. Oh, entonces me gustaría crear, puedo decir, I would like to run a business uh, uh, or oh, a, pet, a pet shop business, a pet shop store. Run, run is echar andar también, verdad? Empezar algo es run, okay? Run a business, uh, start a business, okay? Start a business. Set on a business, ahí está también la forma de decirlo. Okay, guys, remember to say if and would, okay? Remember to use the past. Okay, Edenilson, for real, what would you do? Díganos de verdad. Yes, what teacher, would... that's true. I will, I will... Uh, do business with my body uh, like a personal trainer okay. for exercise uh, okay. don't confuse uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't, <laughs> don't <laughs> misunderstand <laughs> vea, miren, no, no mal entiendan no mal in interpreten vea. eso se dice misunderstand <laughs> understand es, oh, dar mal a mal, dar, a mal entender vea misunderstand eh, don't misunderstand guys no se confundan ¿verdad? Don't, no se, no se confundan. Guys. Okay. don't misunderstand oh so i will i will uh i will train people right i will be a coach yo sería a i coach, would yes. be a coach okay a personal <laughs> trainer okay very good okay thank you if Maybe i remember crazy. guys remember vaya edenilson hágale la pregunta a alguien más Cualquiera que sea, mire, if you found a cell phone, if you uh, won the lottery, if you were fired, ya creo que no quieren pensar en eso ustedes, pero um, if you were on vacations for a year, que por, unas, por un año que tuvieran vacación, what would you do besides that? Cualquier pregunta, guys, hágansela entre ustedes. O los mando a los break room para que practiquen. How do you say Rifa? Ruffle. Uh, Rita, Rita, uh -huh. if you have a raffle, three, if you, if you, I go. no, it's raffle. If you won, if you won a raffle, and the, uh, el premio, ¿cómo se dice? And the price. Price, premio. Sí, pero creo que es con S. Que price es con price. premio. Pre el precio, pero también un premio, creo que si no me equivoco, va con S. Vamos a revisar, permítanme. Price. Or, or maybe if you want $5,000 in a ropa, what would you do? Five thousand. 
Um, I would like um, no, es con Z, price uh, guys, buy con the este. ticket, price, ajá, uh -huh. award más es la como recompensa también, verdad? If if the price was, uh, if the price was or were, perdón, sería if if you won uh seven hundred fifty thousand seven hundred fifty thousand dollars okay el price va con z guys es la diferencia okay price de premio o un award como una recompensa vamos pregúntale de nuevo el eh, de Nilsson if what would you do if Rita what would you do if you have no if you won five thousand dollars I would like buy the at Ticket. Okay. I would like to buy a ticket. Yo solo diría, yo compraría unos tickets. ¿Cómo se diría? En lugar de decir would like, eso es me gustaría comprar. Solo compraría Diríamos, I, I buy it, a ticket. I would, yeah, I'd, I'd, contracted, I'd. I would buy, I'd. I would buy more tickets, uh, of flight tickets to travel. Or maybe I would travel around the world. Right? I would visit different places in my case. If I had or if I won this, this money, oof, I would get crazy. Creo que me haría loca, guys. But also I would buy either a new house, una buena casa. And also maybe I would um, start business, definitely. Ahí un negocito, vea. Eso es lo mejor. Uh, to start uh, business. Uh, uh, that's what I would do as Glenda said. All right. Um, what else? Pregunte, Rita, pregúntele a alguien más. Ask somebody. Guys, necesito que hagan la pregunta. What would you do if? Y se respondan así. Oh, if I won uh, $7,000, I would buy this. I would or I could pueden ocupar. Recuerden el could or would. Ok, go. If you, ay, no sé, um, Abane, Abane, if you were animal, what animal would you like? Would you be, te gustaría ser, no, sería entonces, no. serías, would you be, o te gustaría ser, te would you like, te gustaría ser. Uh, what would you like to be? Uh, which animal would you like to be? Te gustaría ser. <laughs> I, I would like um, to be. I would like to be. Comienza desde el inicio, Vanessa. If, I, remember if, to use the if. If I wish. If, if I were an animal, si fuera un animal. If I were an animal, I would like to be a pony. A pony. A little pony. Little pony. My little pony. Le gustaba la caricatura, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. All right. Miren qué bonito. ¿eh? If I were an animal, I would like to be. Me gustaría. I would like. O solo dirían, I would be. Sería. I would be a pony. Okay. 
Nice. Vanessa, pregúntele a alguien más. Ask somebody else. Um, Samuel. Uh -huh. If what would you like to be a superhero? Uh, if you were, si fueras, if you were uh, a superhero, you... which superhero would you like to be? If you were a superhero, which would you like to be? Uh -huh. Thank you. Come on, Samuel. I don't hear you. Batman. Batman, I mm, Batman? Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Vaya, no, ahí no me dicen nada en inglés. Batman, Supergirl, Superwoman. No, come on. Te quiero la estructura completa, chicos. Hablemos un poquito, ¿ok? Let's practice English. Ok. O sea, yo lo que puse en ruta fue... Es que solo lo que puse en ruta. Ah, yo, yo lo que puse en ruta fue este, sobre las... Póngale el mute, guys, por favor, que se escucha lo que están hablando. Perdón, can you continue, Samuel? Ok. Uh, the, I would be the Captain America. Ah, ok. Captain America. Ok. ¿Qué le faltó ahí? El if, el if, el if is missing. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I would be Captain America. Y después ponemos el if. Puede ponerlo antes o puede ponerlo después. The I would be the is Captain America. I would be Captain America. If. If qué? If what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Listen to the question that Vanessa asked you. If you were a superhero, um. ajá, entonces es, la respuesta va. If I were a superhero, ahí continúa. I will. I ah okay. With the Capitan America. Complete sentence. Complete, complete, complete the idea. El if, Samuel. El if, el if, el if. Guys, if if you were a superhero, which superhero would you be? I would be Captain America if I were a superhero. Eso es lo que necesito. Samuel, pregúntele a alguien más, please. Okay. Están um... acostumbrados a que solo hacia penita, pico, a po por poquititos le voy sacando sus palabras. Hablen, chicos, exprésense más. Solo por solo monólogos, no, guys. O sea, ustedes no hablan en monólogos. Yo les hago preguntas. Y según la pregunta, ustedes me dan sus respuestas. Pero no es una respuesta para mí eh, que solo me digan, ah, tal cosa. No, quiero que usen el if. ¿verdad? Quiero que usen la estructura. Aquí está las estructuras que vimos. ¿Ve? What would you do? Oh, I would go straight to the mall and spend. I could buy a lot of clothes and jewelry. ¿Ok? Ah, pero ¿cuál es la pregunta? If I found... ¿Vean? ¿Ve? Si yo encontrara. If I found $750,000, uh, $750, I would... Blah, 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 blah. 
if, por eso estamos hablando de la condición, ¿ok? If, if, if. Y necesito que hagamos más preguntitas. Ex, eh, another example, guys. Miren. Area condition es súper fácil. Ya les estaba mencionando que lo que uno hace es poner el if. Si esto pasa, esta es la condición, ¿ok? Mi, res, mi respuesta a esa situación podría usar could, might, would, etc. ¿Ok? Um, podría decir should también, aunque estos son los tres más comunes. Vale. ¿Qué es lo que pasa para hacer la pregunta? Mire, si yo fuera if I, simple past, ¿qué es lo que ocupamos? Un sujeto. Simple past del verbo, un complemento, y luego un sujeto modal would, could, que ya lo vimos en las, en las clases anteriores, y después el verbo. El segundo, si yo pongo if, en la primera posición, la primera parte de la, de la oración, que ustedes saben que la condición se forma de dos cosas, ¿verdad? Una, eh, que es la, la estructura o la oración principal, y que de esta, de esta oración principal se deriva a otra, ¿sí? Sí, si yo fuera así, tuviera esto. Si yo tuviera o pudiera, hiciera tal cosa. Son dos estructuras al mismo tiempo. Por eso les insisto, ocupemos el if. Porque necesitamos un pasado también. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo diría? Ah, si yo, si yo tuviera 10 hijos, pues ya, ya estaría, estaría bien viejito, también, tal vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. How would you say that? Vaya, me quedó pendiente. Samuel, hagamos una pregunta. Miren, guys, con las preguntas ponemos así. What would you do if... Y aquí le puede poner usted. Yes, Alberto, you have a question. Oh. If you were an animal, lo que nos preguntó um, Vanessa. Um, if you were, pasado. Si tú tuvieras. Can, can I try the other teacher? Sure, tell me. Um, if you had, si tú tuvieras. Uh -huh. Continue. No, and the other. Uh, in the case, if I, I were... In the USA, uh -huh. I could uh, practice more English. Hey, good job. Very good example. Mire. Um, if I live, vaya, if you lived in the United States, what would you do? Oh, I would practice my English every day. More than in El Salvador. Very good. Ahí estamos. Ok, ¿qué otro ejemplo? Thank you, Alberto. Very nice example. Teacher. Yes, uh, ma'am. If you could visit a country in Europe, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I could visit Italy. If you visited, si tú visitaras, if you mm -hmm. visited, ahí diríamos el pasado. If you visited Europe, Which mm -hmm. country? Uh -huh. I, Which country would I uh, would if you visit you? Which country si, would si visitaras Italy? Europa? Which, Which country? country would Italy? Would ¿Cómo me preguntaría entonces? Porque But si me está preguntando, ya me dijera could, que ya me dice Italia. No, if you could visit a country in Europe. 
Uh -huh. O sea, si tú pudieras visitar uh -huh. un país en Europa. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Esa. No, ahí no me está haciendo pregunta. Ahí solo me dice, si tú pudieras visitar Europa, un país en Europa. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Uh, what? Which country would you visit? ¿Cuál country, mm. cuál, con, cuál visitarías? Which country, uh, okay. uh -huh. which country would you visit? Mm -hmm. Ok, si visitaras Europa. O oh, which country would you go? ¿A dónde irías? ¿A cuál país irías? Ok, como les mm -hmm. digo, son dos estructuras, ¿verdad? Mm. Una que es la condición y la otra si es pregunta, pues, movemos, guys, el which, ¿verdad? Hacemos la forma de pregunta. Acuérdense, cuando ocupamos would y preguntamos, el would va primero que el sujeto, right? What country would you visit? Where country would you go? ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Y el if? Eh, cuando if. usamos el if, sería con el pasado, ¿verdad? Vamos a poner el ejemplo que me dio Alberto. If you out, oh, él, él no, no preguntó, sino que dio una, una situación hipotética. If I live, si yo viviera en the United States, coma, I would practice. Esa es la más común. Okay. El if, pasado, complemento. ¿Qué pasaría? ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasaría? I would practice. I would uh, have more money. I would earn también. I would earn more money. De seguro que ganaríamos más, ¿verdad? O podemos poner esto al inicio y el if después. Ahí está. I could earn more money if I lived in the United States. Así. Cualquiera de las dos formas. ¿Cuál es la regla de el if? Si va al inicio, miren qué pasa. Puntuation, ¿verdad? La coma, ¿ya? We need the commas. ¿Ok? Vamos, guys. Otra preguntita. Me quedó pendiente ahí. No me ha preguntado aún. Jorge, um, Jorge y Jorge y Lorena todavía no me han preguntado nada. Lorena, are you there? Vaya, guys. What would you do if you were a teacher? Si ustedes fueran la teacher, oh, what would you do? Um. What? Lo mucho. Ah. I would scold at my students. Ajá. What would you do if you were the teacher, guys? The English teacher en inglés corporativo. Un poquito, ¿vale? la pregunta. O... If you. Uh... Si yo fuera, ahí diría, if I were. The teacher. Sería if. Ajá. Ajá. If I were the teacher. Aquí tenemos otra vez. Hey, ¿qué hicieras si vivieras en Italia? I would visit... Uh, I would visit... La torre de Pisa. The tunnels. The tunnels. Hay como los túneles. Como, uh, or the, the, the channels. Hay canales ahí también. ¿no? I would practice Italy, Italian, perdón. I will practice Italian. Yo pa practicaría italiano también. Ok, vaya, guys. Lo vamos a dejar aquí. Por favor, vean los videos, ok. Y mañana vamos a seguir porque 
Necesitamos practicar los pasados de los verbos, ¿ok? Questions okay, so far. Sure. ¿Tienen alguna duda por el momento? Esta es la estructura como ya les dije, ¿verdad? We will finish tomorrow this. Yeah, the topic, we, aunque fíjese que toda la, toda la sección 5 es de los unreal conditionals. Así que esperamos que mañana terminemos. Y si no, pues tenemos más tiempo, ¿verdad? Miren, solo, lo, y aquí están los models. Igual los models son los que estamos viendo para hablar de... Para hablar de situaciones irreales, ¿verdad? Ok, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Take care a lot. Have a nice week. Uh, have a nice have week. Have a nice week. Muy bien. Thank you, teacher. Feliz Take semana. Care. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.